Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to talk about IntelliJ IDEA, more specifically the plugins that I use for my projects or makes me more productive. This is IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition that I'm using. There is also an Ultimate Edition, but that is paid and licensed. So Community Edition, I think it's nice and quite sufficient for our normal usage. And this is a sample project that I've cloned just to showcase the plugins, their usage. So the plugins are available from File Settings. You go to the Plugins option and then you can see there are two tabs, Marketplace and Install. So under Marketplace, you can find all the plugins that you want to use and install accordingly. And the Install tab shows the plugins that you have already installed. So these are the downloaded plugins and there would be a set of plugins which are bundled by default comes with IntelliJ. So the first one is CSV plugin which I find quite useful because I have to edit quite a lot of CSV uh, files and it gives you a customizable table editor. Right now I don't have a CSV file in this uh, project but you can see a snapshot over here. You will get the idea right. Um, otherwise, you have to switch windows. Um, you have to need a file processing software like Excel, something like that. So the plugin is quite useful in that manner. This is a third-party plugin. You can see the developer's name here. And if you fancy building a plugin, there is a plugin dev kit available inside IntelliJ. Uh, there are certain instructions available online. Just read those, and you can create a new plugin yourself and put it on the marketplace. The next one is Cucumber for Java. Cucumber is a behavior driven development framework. So this plugin gives you nice editing uh, feature for the uh, syntax highlighting, etc. And there is also a Gherkin plugin, which is uh, sort of linked because the feature files are written in Gherkin language, which is like given when then. Um, so for example, there's a sample feature file. You can see the <coughs> keywords are syntax highlighted, features, scenario, given when then, etc. Tags, and you can uh, simply control click on a step, and you can go to the step definition directly. Quite nice. Um, okay, so I have installed a few themes over here. So the dark purple theme, Dracula theme. And there is also one dark theme that I'm currently using. One dark theme was, I think, initially introduced in Atom, and then eventually other IDs uh, created their own flavor. Um, like you can get a one dark theme for VS Code or for IntelliJ IDEA that I'm currently using. So the like uh, themes are basically gives you a, a nice look and feel and I personally prefer the dark themes over the light ones because these are quite soothing for my eyes and uh, especially if you're working at late night I think that would be um, your eyes will thank you later so yeah why don't you try the dark theme again personal preference so nothing bad with light themes but um, yeah something I'll prefer over the light theme. So IntelliJ by default comes with a dark theme which is called Darkula, I guess. Um, we can see that from the appearance option. So you can go to theme and select the one. So this is Dra Dracula that I have installed and this is Darkula that comes by default with IntelliJ which is also nice and um, but this has got a little bit darker shades so I find it more useful. Okay enough of themes uh, moving on to the next one which is EduTools. Edu tools, as the name suggests, is for educational purposes. So, <clears throat> if you want to learn something about a language feature, uh, you want to explore a new language like Kotlin. So, this comes very handy. You can go to File, Learn, and Teach. Then you can browse the courses. You can start a course assignment. It has nice integration with JetBrains Academy, Stepek, 
code forces etc so for example i can browse a course it's getting the all available courses okay there you are so i can start a uh, jetbrains academy java track kotlin sorry scotland <laughs> okay that's it again useful if you want to learn new languages and at the same time practice the uh, on a real id then comes git toolbox which i think is quite nice because by default intellij comes with a git plugin and this adds extra features enhances uh, the git plugin so for example you can see the blame details here there is also options uh, available on your status bar and it also auto fetches the changes pulls the changes from uh, upstream repository which is quite nice because you don't have to manually fetch the changes and you can alter the settings if you want under other settings so most of the plugins will be listed under other settings so git toolbox is uh, one you can see these are the options and there is a auto fetch every 15 minutes you can change the time most certainly very nice you can definitely try this one and then comes crazy i think that's short form of grammar nazi something like that useful if you want to avoid any typos grammar mistakes and it also supports 15 languages you can uh, enable other languages apart from english which is by default enabled and comes directly from JetBrains, so nice one. Then comes Grip Console. Okay, so Grip Console is quite useful if you have to highlight, say, a set of errors or warnings uh, in the console so that it directly catches your eyes. Um, so, for example, I'll show the console here. You can see the warnings are highlighted. If I go down any errors that I see again highlighted because it's matching the <coughs> uh, keyword and you can change the settings so I'll show you a nice shortcut which is like I think the magic shortcut in IntelliJ if you tap shift key twice it will open this window where you can type anything and it will give an option so for example i'm tr trying to find out the settings so okay grab console settings it will search everything for you so very nice and handy in case if you don't remember a particular shortcut so you can see here these are the options available okay useful plugin next one is ID features trainer so it will teach you more about IntelliJ idea plugin so when you uh, launch the ID first time it will give an option like learn about IntelliJ um, so yeah there are so many things in uh, this ID so you can take some time and learn more about the ID because uh, that is actually uh, a particular weapon in your uh, toolbox <coughs> then uh, java doc as a name suggests again it will help you to create java docs quickly for any particular element or all the elements so if i so for example select this uh, method and then right click i can generate the java doc there is also a shortcut for that alt shift g as you can see and it'll generate the java doc quite nice yeah and then you can edit um, most the times okay after java doc what do we have okay we have then json parser 
very nice tool you have this option over here so for example if I have a JSON like this I'm just writing something just to show so it basically parses the JSON and it gives you a pretty printed format you can also see it in free format so you don't have to go to any online tool or any other uh, menu options you can just open the JSON paste the JSON file here and parse it quickly useful then to, 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 to. okay key promoter X I love this plugin you might have noticed this already whenever I'm clicking uh, any of the options for example JSON parser then this key promoter X is asking me why don't you create a shortcut for a JSON parser okay just to make my life uh, easy and there are <coughs> other shortcut options by default available so for example if I need to go to the file um, definition of this uh, class then it says you can just press Control B and it also gives me a declaration of usage I have pressed this 10 times so you can go to pre promoter X and you get a list of all the settings that you are using so this one I use most frequently so probably I can remember the con uh, shortcut for that okay just to make it quick this is uh, one of the uh, finest plugins that I've seen and very useful makes you much more productive because the shortcuts are yes time saver okay um, I think we are almost done there are only few plugins left Lombok I guess you will only need if you are using project Lombok uh, which is uh, like helps to reduce your um, boilerplate code you don't have to write setter getters uh, using annotations you can uh, utilize that and uh, just to make it enabled in your uh, ID you can use this Lombok plugin so I'm not going to details but you can obviously read about it it reduces the number of uh, lines of code that you re uh, usually write but actually is not adding any business value as such Maven helper again a very useful one uh, you can uh, enhance the existing Maven support in the ID you can right click editor and then run Maven and there are other shortcuts that you can create you can find out uh, dependency and duplications in that conflicting dependencies very useful so if you are using Maven a lot I will recommend uh, you install Maven helper theme we have already covered presentation assistant again very useful one say for example if you're doing a live demo of some features and then you are also using some shortcuts or something like that which your um, audience is not able to follow actually the, you already have seen this uh, whenever I'm doing an action so it gives you this highlight navigate declaration or usage by control P something like that second so you, you use it accordingly it uh, directly shows you what is the action uh, done in the ID quite nice and usually the presentation assistant plugin would be switched off I have just switched it on because I'm doing sort of presentation and then we have only two plugins left regex tester regular expression is quite nice but you have to use it properly so there is a regex texter tab added when you have this plugin so say for example and you can validate any regular expression that you're writing so for um say so i'll write automation shower and then i'll match it So it matches the entire string you can quickly check this and there are other options available as well so based on the Java regular expression this plugin is very useful I 
usually when I used to use a lot uh, online regular expression matching that are available but now since I have one plugin within my ID I don't have to go anywhere else so that's the beauty of plugins this actually helps you extend the features that are already available um, okay the last one but the not least string manipulation is very useful in case you have to uh, do certain uh, case operation like you get this string manipulation option here you can escape unescape a lot of um, different types of javascript html sql json you can switch the cases camel case snake case etc in event equipment there are a lot of options and these are quite useful at times so you can assign a shortcut using the key maps available so again i think this is also quite useful so that's it there are again uh, a lot of plugins available in the market plans but these are the uh, ones that i have installed right now in case if there is any other uh, requirement uh, i will probably find try to find a plugin for that use and if i'm lucky enough yeah i'll save some time with that plugin okay enough of plugins um i think this was a useful video in case you are using IntelliJ idea and if you are not why don't you give it a try and uh, let me know in the comments section uh, if that actually helped you or not people have their preferences so i'm not forcing anyone uh, but yeah in case you would think this is going to help just give it a try thanks for watching and stay safe specifically right now everywhere uh, the news of coronavirus the global pandemic is out so uh, just be safe uh, and keep your near and dear ones safe and whenever you get time keep learning thank you so much bye bye